We hope that you'll enjoy this episode. Just a reminder to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Alright, thank you for joining us for another one of our Let's Play sessions of Mobile Legends. I am trying out the ranged attacker. Um, so this is one that does physical damage. Uh, I've done some of the, the mage build outs. You know, I tried, um, you know, I think one other, uh, you know, ranged, physical, diff a different tune, build out, and a tank, you know, so far. So still really, really new in this game. So just trying to figure things out. Um, you know, overall, you know, I have found that with any type of ranged uh, attacker, you've got to keep your distance um, and just kind of plug away the best that you can. Ensuring that you've got people taking the damage for you is super important. So as this person dies, I want to get out of the mix. And run away a little bit here. Uh, so we'll kind of kite uh, these individuals. So run and let them follow us. And then do a little damage and just keep running. Thought process is not to take any damage. <laughs> So unless we've got somebody in there taking damage for us, there's no point running in because we will just die. Might as well wait till they come to us. Okay, so we've done some significant damage to at least a few of these folks. And keep buying up. I'm liking this build out so far. It seems to do good single target damage which I personally enjoy a little bit more. Let's wait till we get somebody, somebody else to kind of tank here for us. Doesn't do you any good to run in there and get uh, annihilated by those turrets. <laughs> but once you got somebody taking damage for you, it can make sense. All right, so we're just gonna keep chipping away here. Was not to take damage, to run all the way when that happens. Put up a wall here. It's kind of a neat little one. I haven't uh, unlocked that, that person yet. I think that it would be kind of neat. Uh, there's a hatter who seems to run from damage, it seems like. I think I'm going to have to run back to, or uh, recall back to base here just so I can not die, but I was hoping to take out this turret before I do. We're doing some decent damage on it. Let's keep plugging away. There we go. Alright, I'm going to recall, actually I might have got to heal that and respawn there. I think myself killed. Alright, I made the taboo problem of trying to rush into battle as a ranged attacker and just got schooled. Um, so obviously, rookie mistake, knew better, even talked about it, and still saw that person. They were so close, and I thought, if I can just get one more shot, I can kill him. And uh, he kited me right into, uh, you know, a bunch of his, his minions there. So, you know, kudos to him. Uh, hand slap for me, but uh, that's okay. We'll just keep at it here. Alright, picked up an area of effect, so that'll be useful when we've got a lot of uh, mobs that we're fighting. But, you know, we're pushing ahead pretty good on this side. 
So I haven't gotten a whole lot of, um, you know, I haven't got any kills, but only one death. Uh, we have taken out several of their turrets, which I think is, you know, pretty important. Alright, again, I do not want to be the one taking damage here. I much prefer that to be someone else, anyone else. Execute skill. Take the yes. Alright, so we got one. Almost made the same mistake of running into battle here. Wait for that hatter. Get his head up. There we go. Alright, so, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good, um, you know, as far as pushing ahead here. I want to keep upgrading. I like to stick with attack. Um, you know, it's going to give me a bonus to those attacks. You know, speed is, is great, you know, as far as run speed. But hopefully, if I'm doing this right, I am just kiting them around and I'm not actually dying all that often. Alright, so there's another turret down. Okay. Area effect, which gives us a decent amount of damage. Okay, sneak in, let's see if we can do another. Take another one of these turrets here. I just might. So I'll be careful with my own turret. Maybe oh, made that mistake once before. Let's just go to heal. Alright, so that is three turrets. Let's up our attack speed here. So, I don't know, I'm not too upset about that, just because we have to get in pretty close, um, you know, to get those last turrets, but uh, still probably should have kept my distance a little bit further than what I did. That's okay. We'll just uh, jump right back in. run back up this uh, this other side here and just see what we can do. Looks like our attack speed has definitely gotten a little bit faster, which is great. Kill, but that's okay. Alright, keep upgrading here. Alright, let's see if we can do any more damage to this turret here before they come out to guard it. Looks like that's been cleared. Might be a little bit shorter of a run. Okay, 
does not look like all the turrets have been destroyed here. And if I can get one more, why not? track a system this game yet, but here and see if we can't chip away. There we go. Alright, so I like those ranged attackers. I'm finding that, that this, this loadout I enjoyed probably a little bit more than even the mage, um, just because it was more single target for the most part, and it seemed like I was able to do more damage uh, towards those heroes. Didn't get quite as many kills as I would on the mage, but definitely did more damage, it seemed anyway, against those uh, turrets. So had a lot of fun there. Be interested in your comments on how you play in this build out and maybe what I was doing wrong, what I should be doing differently. 